I put my thinking cap on the other day because I had a problem that I needed to solve and I thought maybe I could use science to solve the problem. We have a number of demonstrations that we use where we need eggs that have been cleaned out. I don't like to use the word suck because nothing really sucks in science. It's kind of along the lines of succus impossibilis. Instead, there's pushes and pulls in science, but no suck. So I was trying to figure out a way to get the stuff out of the inside of the egg. And we poked some holes in it and sat down and tried to blow the air through it and push it out. And it's a long, slow process. And you know, I really just don't like sticking my mouth on top of the eggs. So I started thinking about the things that we've done and some of the experiments we've tried. And it dawned on me that maybe I could use air pressure to push the material out of the inside of the egg. And so I thought, okay, how do I get that? How do I make that work? I need a way to have the air pressure on the top of the egg greater than the air pressure on the bottom. So it came up with the idea that maybe I could create a little heat inside a flask like this one by dropping a flaming piece of cotton in there. That would force some of the air up out of the container. And then when it cooled back down, if I stuck the egg on top, pressure would decrease inside the flask, pressure on the outside would be greater, and it would push down on the egg and knock the material out of the egg. Put a little vacuum grease around the top just to give me a better seal, and I have holes poked in the top and the bottom of this egg, which you can probably see. And so now what I'm going to do, and this requires one thing that science hasn't taught me, it requires coordination. So it may or may not work really well for me because I've got to move relatively fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of cotton out, I'm going to ignite it, I'm going to drop it in, and then hopefully get this egg up here really fast and set it on top, and then we'll see if we can push the guts out of the inside of that egg. So let's give that a shot. I'm going to do this. I'm going to shake some of the excess ethanol out. I'm going to get this ethanol out of the way because I'm going to start a flame here. So I'm going to ignite this. You won't see a great deal because the flame for ethanol is fairly dull. Oh, that's doing pretty well. Oh, that one felt much better. Now what's happened here is that the burning ethanol on the piece of cotton has raised the temperature inside the flask. That's driven air out of the flask. After I put the egg on top, fire goes out, the temperature goes down, pressure decreases on the inside of the flask, there's air pushing down on the hole in the egg, there's a hole down on the other side, lower pressure, and it just drives that egg right out of the bottom. And now I've got a perfectly cleaned out egg ready to use for any experiment I need a hollow egg for.